Hi, my name is Mitzi Ash, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm a silk artist. I work with silk. Uh, the art begins with a piece of white silk, comes in different weights and textures. You've probably heard of chiffon or charmeuse. Uh, so I start with uh, white silk. I choose what I want to work on. And then it has to be stabilized on a frame. So as you can see here, I have PVC pipe and some, uh, and some rubber bands kind of stretching it to keep it nice and tight. I draw with a resist, which, at, which acts as a barrier to keep one color from running into another color. So in this uh, example here, I have drawn a flower with the resist. And as you can see, uh, the, the dye that I used went into, just stopped right there, it formed a barrier. And the second one, I put blue dye down first and then drew with my resist. And as you can see, the resist turned blue. Here, the resist is white. So I paint with dyes and a brush. So I'll, I use this brush and the dye is very liquid and it can be put on like this. And then I'll move over to here and you can see that again, the, there's a barrier being formed. I can actually go into this one And for this one over here, this has no resist on it, but it does have dye. And what you will begin to see is the formation of dark lines where the, 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 the uh, wet dye goes into the dry dye and you can kind of see a dark line forming. And this one is just putting on dyes very loosely and everything you, if you wet everything, it will not form dark lines. It will just all blend together. So some examples of, of scarves that have been done these ways, this, this first scarf, is one where the dark lines formed. I had a dye underneath that and put more dye on top and they make beautiful, beautiful um, abstracts. On this silk scarf, this was just all done in a very juicy way, just put on and the dyes ran together. And another technique that I enjoy using is uh, soy wax. And I put wax on, and that acts as a barrier, as a resist as well, and we get these beautiful, beautiful um, forms in this scarf. Now, if you look over here, I'm working on an, a scarf, and it's, here are two frames, and this one is the way this one looked couple hours ago. So I, did, I created these flowers and then I go in with my dyes and I can add more color. And so I'll just continue to do that and they, I will, my scarf will be finished. After the, dot, after the scarf is completely dry, I then have to steam it in order to set the dyes. So I take the scarf and it gets bundled up in newspapers and then wrapped with masking tape and it gets put inside a double boiler like this. So I put it in there Put the lid on, there's water down the bottom, and it steams for about an, one, one hour, maybe two hours. 
and then the scarf is ready to go. Wash it, and I can sell it, and the dyes will stay in and um, remain permanent. So thank you very much.